it's where the king liked to go to kick back, to, to chill out. <laughs> the first phase of restoration has already begun at the DeSoto County Ranch that was once owned by Elvis Presley. Yeah, it's the Circle G Ranch. A lot of the people around here are familiar. Uh, it is in Horn Lake, just south of Goodman Road. And as Fox 13's Mississippi correspondent Tom Dees shows us, organizers hope that this project rustles up a lot of money for that area. According to Mayor Alan Latimer, the development here at Circle G Ranch will certainly have the city of Horn Lake saying, thank you, thank you very much for your tourist dollars. And I'm hoping that when these people come in to pay their uh, respects to Mr. Presley, that they'll remember that he and Miss Priscilla spent their honeymoon night in Horn Lake, Mississippi, and they'll come down and visit us. But beyond any dollars generated by tourists, Latimer says that he is impressed by plans to use the ranch to raise money for charitable causes, including helping veterans and special needs children with disabilities. Not only is it going to provide uh, retail space, but it's also going to have a lot of events. Hopefully we'll uh, maybe talk about Elvis's heritage in that area. And I have understanding that they're going to have some uh, uh, events on a permanent basis to, to help those with disabilities. So not only is it an economic boon and a cultural boon, but it's, it's going to do a lot to help a lot of people in other ways also. As for Elvis fans and whether they will visit Circle G, they already do. These two ladies, Alexandra and Iria, made the 27-hour flight from Romania to see Circle G. We want to see everything about Elvis. Everything. Everything. At all. It was in Tupelo, in Graceland, everywhere, where it is possible. We were everywhere, and uh, we want to, to see more. More. For your two-screen experience and a complete look at plans for development here at Circle G in Horn Lake, go to our My Fox Memphis Facebook page. Reporting in Horn Lake, Mississippi, I'm Tom Dees for Fox 13 News.